Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is puzzle 109 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a diagonal killer problem by Frappi. Um, and of course, Frappi has submitted a lot of different um, problems to this series. So thank you for that. So the way this works is you need to place the digits into the cells marked with an X. They're the only ones you need to absolutely get. If you get any others along the way, great. Um, but they're the ones that you need to provide. Um, there is a link below to where you can get this problem um, and uh, try it for yourself. Um, the rules that are in play for this one is each of the indicated diagonals must um, cannot contain repeated digits, so they will contain a set of the digits 1 to 9 without repetition, and digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. They're the rules we're working with. Um, so yeah, try the link below, figure this one out for yourself. I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video and give it a try, and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so um, the way you want to start with this one is basically by looking at the killer cages. So for example, um, 16 can only be made one way with Sudoku digits, which is 7 and 9. This 7 resolves it. So we know a 9 here and a 7 here. Great, we've got a couple of digits, but they're not the ones we need, which are these two. So 6 can only be done with 1, 2, 3, and 23, there's only one way to make that, which is the maximum digit you can do is 24 with 7, 8, 9. You can only reduce one of those digits by 1 to get to uh, 23, so this is 6, 8, 9. The digits we haven't used are 4, 5, and 7. Now, this 7 here means that this can't be a, um, a 7. A 7 can only be done one way, um, similar to the way 6 can only be 1, 2, 3, the minimum digits. Um, 7, you can only increase one digit by 1 to get that, so this has to be 1, 2, 4, and this can no longer be a 4, so this has to be a 5, taking 5 out of those. Now, by Sudoku, 7 has to go in one of these two cells because it can't go in any of those, and it can't go here because of this. So this is now a 7. Now, we need to put 19 into these three cells, but the maximum digits we've got available now are 5, 6, and 8 because we can't use 7 and 9. And if you add 5, 6, and 8, you get 19. So these must be 5, 6, and 8. But because of this 5, we can't put 5 on this diagonal, so this becomes a 5. Now, we need to look at the what's called the positive diagonal, because if you were to put this on a graph, the digits, are, it's a positive incline. Um, and 7 needs to go on this positive diagonal somewhere. It can't go in those three cells because there's a 7 in the box. It can't go in those three cells because there's a 4, 7 pair in the box. So it has to go in one of those three. But that cell is seen by that 7, so it can't be there. And this cell is seen by that 7, so this becomes a 7. And that is the solution to the problem. So a really nice one that uses all of the constraints being pushed together. Um, thank you, Frappi, for submitting it. I hope you got that one without too much difficulty. I'm calling this one a medium, but I may have got that one wrong. People may find this a little bit harder. Um, we'll see how it goes. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving. 